I think, the, you know, the combination of Brexit and COVID has just created this absolute, you know, with Brexit and like a lot of foreign staff not being able to work, COVID. And the, the thing is, you know, with COVID and the backlog from that, you've got, they're still doing tests. They're still have you know, all the staff are having to test every day. They're still, you know, still getting paid for isolating. They, you know, there's a lot of people taking the mickey on that because I have friends who work in the airport and they have colleagues who just can't be bothered to go into work. So there's a, you know, there's, there's this complete sort of petri dish of so many different things and like baggage handlers, you know, I think they're still on the minimum pay. So as Jane said, you, you've got to sort out the pay, but it kind of pains me when you, when you hear that there's sort of, you know, five million or however many unemployed people and you, you there, the, the people are there to work. So why is this a massive staff shortage going on? in the airports. But then you've, you know, there's so many things from the COVID checks. Why are we checking? Surely that's the destination. You know, you get on the plane, let the destination handle it with whatever they've got going on. It does seem a bit unnecessary now to there's be constantly a, yeah. checking whether someone's got COVID. Yeah. So do you think um, COVID is being used as an excuse for the work shy? Is that what you're saying? That people are sitting there and going, do you know what? There's a heat wave. When I look out my window, I'm going to say that I've tested positive COVID and stay at home for a few days. There, I mean, there is, only because I've heard it from the horse's mouth from a few people. I mean, I, I live out near Staines, so I'm, I'm five minutes from Heathrow. So I know a lot of people that work in from baggage handlers from to engineers that work at Heathrow Airport, and they're all saying the same thing when it comes to that and they're having to test and a lot of people just saying, oh, we're isolating.